Yo, before I get into this video, man, I just need y'all to do me a quick favor. In the description below, my Twitter, my Snapchat, my Instagram, all that shit is in there. If you don't want to follow that shit, hey, so be it. It is what it is. It, we cool. But what you can do is, you know, just show a little support, you know what I'm saying? Just like the video, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and turn on post notifications and join the gang, bro. If you like to laugh, my channel is for you. I like to make niggas laugh. I like to laugh. So look, that's what I'm going to do. You clicked on this video for a fucking reason, right? You want to know how to be a comp stage, but you want to be a comp player. I got you, my nigga. Don't ask me no questions. Don't ask me who the fuck is this nigga. What does he know about comp stage? Is he? A, are you a comp player? Don't don't ask me no shit like that because nigga, we're not here for me. We're here for you. We want to get you to be a comp stage player. Clearly, you clicked on the video for a reason. You want to be comp. You want to be the comp stage player. I don't care. So don't ask me no goddamn questions. Don't say who 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 the fuck is this nigga? Like who who are you? Don't don't ask me all that shit. Don't worry about me. Just know I be in the stage, bro. Don't don't worry about me, bro. All right. So look, first things first. We gotta start with your face scan. All right. We all know everybody in comp stage got a certain face scan, and it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm gonna try to make it explain it the best as possible. When you go to my my player appearance, look at the first face scan. That nigga look Chinese, but he's really like he got he like a melanin. He blazing. All right. Yeah, he blazing. He got melanin. And then he Chinese. Click on that nigga. Now you might be saying this nigga don't even look like the face game. Bro, just listen. When you get that face game, you gotta go to Docs. You gotta go to Docs, bro. And you gotta get the LeBron James natural man. You throw that motherfucker on, and now that's it right there. Now, now you now you like, ah oh, yeah. That's what you gotta do. You gotta go in there, you gotta throw the LeBron James natural man on. You gotta put that bitch on. Now I with your hair, cause you wanna do when you go to concert, you wanna look like you belong there. You wanna look like you already you're not new to this shit. So you wanna get you some braids. If you a guard, you're gonna get the braids. You can get the Anthony Davis drum. You can get the high tie fade and uh, make the hair length all the way long. Uh, what else can you get? You can get the Afro temp fade. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um, what am I? Oh, or you could just rock some waves. But that's it for the hair and face scan. Now the swag, this is it right here, cause you could really be the assets player, or you might not even be trying to play any games in the comp stage, bro. But you want to look like, you know, you don't want to show up to the party uninvited. You don't want niggas to be like, yo, look at this random. You want niggas to be like, damn, he look like he's supposed to be here, so they send you squad invites, all right? So look, first things first, you gotta throw in them KD tens. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. These are probably the best shoes in the game. I was, I started rocking KD tens in 18. I don't know, something about them KD tens, bro. And plus, I don't, and plus. Your contracts don't really mean shit this year, so you can wear any brand you want, even if you were Jordan. But goddamn, get some KD tens. If you don't want to get KD tens, you can go ahead and rock some Jordans. The only Jordans you can really wear is ones, uh, fours, twelves, uh, and elevens. Those are probably the only Jordans you can rock. But uh, you all the guards you want to have short shorts. Don't wear no fucking long shorts to the comp stage, bro. The only time you want to wear long shorts is if it's from, like, Ruffles or some shit. But don't wear no fucking long shorts. Don't wear no goddamn Atlanta Hawks or Lakers long shorts in the stage, bro. You got to wear short shorts. If you don't have short shorts, go ahead and throw some joggers on. Simple. Now, if you if you trying to be comp stage and you want a budget because you trying to save your VC for the actual 5K court, I got you. Get you some fucking black pants. I know you got some sweatpants. Get some black pants and just throw on the hoodie, my nigga. I know you got the hoodie. Just throw on the hoodie. You got to wear the hood. You cannot have the hood down. You have to wear the hood. You got to wear that shit. And that's about it. If you really lost on the inner sauce, I'm going to have some uh, videos right here for you. I'm going to have it in this video, like right now. Boom, boom. There's going to be some outfits, some drippy outfits for you for the comp stage. It's not my best outfits, and it's not all my outfits, because you cannot have this drip for free. I will give you a few, and I want you to go to the comp stage and watch how many squad invites you get.
If your ass got like a 32 win percentage and you throw this on and you go to the comp stage, you're not getting no squad advice, bro. At least have like a 70 win percentage. Throw this shit on and watch how many squad advice you get, all right? So look, when you go into the comp stage, now now we already we already got you to the party. We got you inside the party, right? Comp stage is a big ass party. When you get inside the party, you gonna see all the boat. Oh, you gonna see all the niggas in there. You gonna see all the hoes in there. All the bitches, the bitches throwing ass and shit. So now what you wanna do is you wanna get on the spot, cause in comp stage you don't have to have a squad. Niggas just gonna be on the spot. You might hop on. You can hop on that spot and then niggas they might check your record and then they might hop on. That's how it is. If you got a squad for comp stage, then you good. You gotta go ahead and hop on the squad spot. But if you don't, just hop on the dots, bro. Somebody gonna get on there with you. And look, when you start playing. Now, now it's time. Now your boys, they don't, you, you gassed up now, my nigga. You gassed up, my nigga. So now you got the day. You at the party, right? And now you, the bitch shaking her ass on you and shit. She twerking on you. This is it. This is equivalent to the bitch shaking her ass on you. When you play with these niggas in the top stage, you gotta know what the fuck you're talking about. You gotta have some confidence in your voice. Listen to how I'm talking. Like, you said I got a little swag in my voice, like, in confidence. Like, you feel, like, you feel my energy. I know you do. This is this is how you got to talk, bro. Don't be in there, bro. Like talk, talk in there like you know what the fuck. Like talk, like got, be your number one fan, bro. Like talk, the, talk that shit, bro. Make this shit a fucking movie, my nigga. So look, here's a few terms you're gonna wanna know, and I got you, bro. I, did, I said if I said I got you, I got you. So look, if you beat if you beating a nigga and you whoop that nigga ass, or it's a close game and you hit like a game winning shot, you be like, hey yo, spin the block. When I say spin the block, that shit mean come around, my nigga. Simple. Then you got, hey yo, let's spark a bonnie or spark a bonnie or a bonnie. A bonnie is a 10 game win streak, which equivalents to 50k VC because you playing on the 5k court. If you get on the 10, if you get on the fucking 10 game win streak on the 5k court, because that's all comes to you can only play on the highest court. You can, that's how it is. You don't, you can play on the 2.5, but everybody play on the 5k. Now you got a, you, now you want to tank it, you got 50k VC, that's a bonnie. You want to go on the tank and win, you like, hey yo, let's fuck this bonnie. You know what I'm saying? And then you got this nigga is shot. So say I'm going against D-Time and he's not performing. Nigga cold. He missing all his shots. He getting ripped. He not playing no defense. You be like, yo, yo ass is shot. Like, this nigga is shot. That shit means this nigga's not performing. He's playing ass. And then you got shit juice. Shit juice is self-explanatory. Bro, the shit is just like, like, that shit is like shit juice. My nigga, like, I don't have to explain. If I say shit juice like that shit, you know, you know what the fuck I'm saying. Now, look, this is the lineup you want to have when you go to comp stage. You want to always run every. You can people run shot creator and playmakers or play uh, playmaker shot creators, but it's very rare. The only person I saw going there with that archetype was G size, but G G size is a different breed. Everybody runs a play sharp. Uh, this is the lineups right here. You run a play sharp, two locks. You run a play sharp, a lock and a uh, sharp rebounder. You run a play sharp, a lock and a stretch, or you'll run uh, a play sharp, a glass cleaner. And a lock, or you'll run like a play, a play sharp, a lock in the glass, like something like that. You always want to have a lock on your team, or you want to have like some type of sharp shooter rebounder on your team, simply because you want to have the lock, one of the locks in the corner, and then you want to have the inside center setting your screens at the top. When they switch it, it'll be a mismatch, and the center's on you. Now you want to iso the center, boot, 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 break them, shoot your three, free board, the glass cleaning down there to get the board for you. If they don't, if they throw the lock on you. You have the motherfucking stretch in the corner, set the stretch off balls. Now you're on, now the other guard on the opposing team is on the stretch, and the stretch can just shoot over, over you. And now you have the glass cleaner going down to the paint, getting the free board. I hope I didn't make that sound too complicated, but it's self explanatory. Go to the comp stage and you'll see what the fuck I'm talking about. Now look. Now look. When you go on the comp stage, you don't have to have the best record. You don't have to have, I'm not saying have a, a 91% or an 81%. We go on the conversation, you're going to see a lot of niggas in there with 60, 50, 70 win percentages, maybe 80 win percentages, but that's because they play stage all day. Don't look at the win percentage, bro. If you about to, if you about to go in there, don't look at anyone's win percentage. Just hop on the dots. Just just look at their rep. If they uh, if they amateur three and they in the comp stage, don't fucking play with them niggas. If they elite three, pro three, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and play with them. I mean, it's 5K VC. If you lose a game, it, it is what it is. Being in the comp stage, you have to know how to lose a game. You have to know, you know, 
You gotta know how to take criticism. Niggas is gonna be in there talking shit. But if you have a bad game, oh well, hop back on them dots. Don't sit there and get in your feelings and say, oh my god, these niggas really. Nah, bro. Like, everybody gotta learn, you know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta throw some games. You gotta win some games. You gotta get dropped off a few times and you gotta, you gotta sell at least once, bro. Like, you gotta, you really gotta know what you're doing in here. These people, they're not average park players, my nigga. The comp stage players, they're like the. If, if we were ranked the 2K community as a school. The comp stage players will be the, the popular the popular group. They'll be the most clouded group, the popular group, the group that everybody wants to be in. Everybody wants to have comp next to their name. Everybody wants to be called themselves a comp player. Well, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, give me some feedback down in the comment section. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, man, just like the video for me. Uh, if you're new to my channel, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Also, my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat is in the description below. Go ahead and show some love, bro. If you, if I see you showing a lot of love, I will I will show you the love back. I'll follow you back and I'll show you some love too. Cause I believe if you support me, I'll support you, no matter who you are. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all have a good day, and I hope you go into the comp stage and you be like, hey yo, I, I got this from Young Seeker. You know what I'm saying? But hey, hey, do y'all, and I'm out here. Peace.